good everyone welcome back to a brand new video so you clicked on this video um you asked for this video because two to three videos ago i asked if you wanted me to make this thing and you guys all responded with the answer yes you want me to make it and here i am making it but so i know a lot of you guys only watch my videos to watch me ride and go ride my scooter and all that stuff so i'm not gonna leave you guys hanging so that's what we're gonna do first but if you don't want to see that you can obviously just skip through to the part where you want to see but we're gonna go to the skate park get some clips have a good time i got a couple ideas in mind just for a trick that i want to do that aren't necessarily not difficult so they are pretty difficult but um, that's what we're going to do, and then we're going to come back here, and I'm going to explain this a little bit more. And, oh, God, it's going to get juicy. I'll just tell you that right now. It's going to get a little intense, and I got a couple people to call out. So you guys are going to enjoy this video. All right, so we made it to the local. Um, it's actually stupidly crowded, so we're probably only going to ride the half pipe, which is a little unfortunate, but it's no big deal. It's not going to do anything crazy anyway, just because of the fact that it is very crowded, and I'm kind of tired, and I'm trying to hold on my energy because in the next video, I'll be in Jersey. We, we always want to throw down in Jersey because, you know, it's Jersey. But like I said just a couple seconds ago, I want to get a quick session here just so because I know a lot of you guys just like to watch me ride. So that's what we're going to do. Not for too long, so don't worry. I'm not going to make you wait any longer or much longer. And I just repainted this deck that I'm riding right now last night, probably like 10 o'clock. And I'm not really sure if it slides because, I mean, it's paint. So paint doesn't really slide on Copic unless you freaking wear it off. And I haven't worn it off much. So this might not be good for slide tricks, but we'll see. And if you're worrying about my hand or anything like that, um, it's just paint, don't worry. I didn't break my freaking hand because, I mean, there's no cut, it's just paint. I don't have my pads on right now because I just didn't feel like putting them on. So nothing crazy is coming. I'll tell you that right now, so don't expect anything. Oh God! Bar Manny Smith, back lip, and then we'll just bribe. Ah, no, take the bribe back, we'll do heel rewind, that's not hard. Actually, no, no air trace. We'll do heel, back lip, whip, like just stall. See this. Smith, that was really sketchy. Back lip, and heel back lip with. Oh, that's pretty clean. Okay. Oh, and I was chipping something with a screwdriver, and I literally dug the whole screwdriver in my hand. It's like under this band-aid right here. I don't know if you can see it. I'm not gonna take it off because that's literally the point of the band-aid because they don't want to get it infected. I'm telling you, like a whole thing of skin, it's not just a cut, it's like half the, it's just like a divot in my finger. It's kind of gross. That's why I have that on my finger. No Manny Flair, double downhill, front side. I'm like super paranoid to fall or kind of just scratch this deck because the paint is fresh and it's paint so it'll chip off, unfortunately, because it's not like actually the color of the deck. I wish it was, but Envy doesn't make white decks. We'll do three whip instead of a nosy. Okay. Three whip. And double heel. Oh, the freaking steez with the back foot. Let's go. Oh, my hands are freaking chilly. Triple air. Gotta catch this. Oh, yeah. It was freaking butter. Now I did a nose manual. Ah! Barely held it. You know, I don't do very often here. I don't talk now. I wish I did, but there's not really a... I mean, I could technically do it over that, but that's front side. I could also technically do it over this, but it's mad scary because it's quarter quarter. Or I could just do it air. I tried it air, but I always only take one hand off and that's mad stupid. I'm gonna shed the paint off the bottom of this and just do some grinds on the hover right here. I'll try and go up, across, and then down, and then front 180 out. Oh, literally zero speed. Ah, frick. All right, third time's the charm. Come on, please don't screw up. I probably will, but I'll hold for it anyway. Oh, come on, hold it. Ah, almost. Here we go. Oh my God. Okay, almost there. Oh, there we go. Freaking got it on that one. Let's go. Okay. I think we are ready. We're going to check out or talk about this placement situation. Ha, <laughs> that rhymes. Okay, here we go. Okay, so here we are. I'm going to explain to you in more a more depth um, answer of why I left Placement Pro Scooters. Um, obviously, if you don't know this, one of my past sponsorships, they're one of my past sponsors. Um, I left their team probably three weeks ago, maybe two weeks ago when this video comes out. But um, there's a couple reasons why I left and some of them are pretty interesting. And just to make this clear, they did not kick me off. I left, I did not want to ride for them anymore. I didn't want to represent myself under their name. So if you guys don't know, they sent me parts to ride in my videos 
And um, let me start with them. Now I've got a lot to criticize with their parts. A lot. Like I'm not I'm not talking just a little bit. I'm talking a lot. Okay, so let's talk about their wheels. Their wheels were probably the worst thing I've ever ridden. Like I'm being so serious. The wheels and also their grip tape. Okay, let's start with the wheels. The wheels are like we're gonna start with that. So when they started sending me actual like good scooters or a complete scooter that wasn't like $70 or something like that, um, it came with steel bars. Um, everything else was aluminum and it was it was very big like the scooter It was like 26 inches tall, which is ridiculous for like a quote-unquote park beginner scooter I took the wheels off of that scooter because I wanted to ride it on my actual scooter to see how they felt and At first they felt great, but then literally a day into riding them Okay, I was trying this trick called a whip umbrella. Um, it's basically just an overhead on a quarter de-hubbed within three tries literally de-hubbed so the actual urethane that was quote unquote glued to the um the, the core literally just fell off like it, it was peeling up and i could hear it every time i turn and make a squeaky noise and one of the teammates actually completely obliterated his pair of wheels like the whole it was literally the dog is just gone like rip like rip wheel okay now i accidentally forgot to bring the wheel out while i was explaining this but here's the wheel basically what happened is um it peeled up and i decided um, when I was actually at the skate park, I came home and I just decided to cut off the urethane. So that's why it's like open right here. But that's literally what happened to the wheel off after like one day of riding. So this is what happened to the wheel after about three attempts at a whip umbrella. And granted, I did land a little sideways, but still, it shouldn't take three attempts to do this. I've seen like five or six other brands have the exact same wheel, just with their different name on it. Like, you know, District, how like Coda just completely yeeted their entire scooter, put their name, put his name on it, and it was like, oh, brand new scooter. That's literally what this is. So the grip tape, oh my goodness. If you thought it could get any worse, it gets worse, okay? So the grip tape that comes with the complete is just the most, it's just the cheapest grip tape ever. I rode that single sheet of grip tape that came with the complete for about a month. And when I tried to peel it off, I pulled it off. The sandpaper came off. The entire deck was covered in gluey paper, like straight up. I had to peel two things off and it wasn't all a clean cut or a clean peel. It came right off at like little teeny bits. So I, it, I spent like a half hour doing that and I just gave up. So I'm like, you know, I'm not riding this thing anymore. I'm just going to do something else with it. I don't know. So riding the grip tape is terrible. Like it had an air bubble in it and that popped and then it just ripped. Like as I was riding it, I just felt it fall off and I was like, oh God, I have no grip tape now. Okay. So we just talked about the wheels. The wheels are horrible. I dehubbed a pair um, in like literally two days and then I got another pair and I also dehubbed them in less than a week or so. Now the deck was okay, um, but if you want to do finger whips, say goodbye to that. That junk is it, dude. It's so painful because the the side of the deck is a complete right angle. So if you hit your finger on the corner, bro, your finger's gone. I did one finger whip with that deck, and I was like, nope, that's not my trick anymore. But then I put my AOC four on, and now I'm doing finger whips like every try all the time. And also the deck had no concave, so the top was completely flat, which is not that good. Um, it gives you a whole lot less grip on the deck, regardless of having the worst grip tape on the planet on there anyway. So the grip tape was slippery and the deck shape was also very slippery. And also, oh my goodness, here comes, this is where I actually call somebody, like somebody specifically out. Their team manager, oh my goodness, makes me cringe so hard. Now I'm not gonna mention any names because that's just going too far, but this guy, okay, so. I, I tell him some things that I think he should do with this team as and I'm telling him this as I'm on the team So this is in the past so I tell him to do some things or I ask him at least and he goes nah blah 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 I know what I'm doing. I have 10k followers on Instagram. I think I know what I'm doing Bro, you do not know what you're doing just because you have 10k then and half of them are bots because you only pull like 600 likes on a, on a video you have 10k you should at least get a thousand maybe two thousand Nope, where'd they go? You bought them. So the team manager, quote unquote, I don't really think he's qualified at all. Um, he's telling me that all this stuff, oh God, I know what I'm doing and blah, blah, blah. I have 10,000 followers on Instagram. Um, I, I know what I'm doing, shut up, let me do my thing. I'm like, okay, all right. And obviously I didn't say anything at the time just because I wanted to end up, like they didn't want to get in any like trouble with the guy or I didn't want to start any problems. But here I am and I have to say something because it deserves to be known. So the team manager was one, stupid, two ignorant and three kind of a kind of a and the team manager went out of his way to say this on my youtube like he literally commented this i'm not going to show his name just to give him privacy or anything like that because like i said it's going too far his comment says go ahead make a video telling people why you left Platian. give them more clout bro tell me this is clout 700 followers no that's less than that 600 followers Nah, what kind of clout is that? Explain that to me. And look how many views y'all pull. 
302. Now, I'm not saying views and followers are everything, but I'm just saying you are acting like it is when you have nothing. So first you say, oh, I know what I'm doing because I have 10,000 followers on Instagram that are, bot that are literally bots, you, you bought them or something. You've, they're not real followers. If they were real, you'd get a lot more interactions on your posts. Do yourself a favor and do everybody a favor. Do not follow this brand. If you're following them, click that unfollow button. It's very easy. You won't have to see any of their crap. And they also make freaking quote unquote long boards. So their team manager was a horrible person. He is an idiot, does not know what he's doing. I'm not afraid to say that. Here you go, you know who you are, okay? If you're watching this video, you suck. You gotta do better than that, okay? That's why I don't freaking ride for y'all anymore. They literally can't even paint their decks. It's wrapped, like the paint peeled. Like that, that is, it didn't chip, it peeled. You know how you wrap a car, you can peel it? The paint literally peeled off the deck. And if I get a picture from it, I'll show you. It's right here, if it's there. If it's not, um, obviously I don't have a picture, but I'm telling you, it peeled. And that to me is pretty upsetting. Even the team manager said this, the company does not know what they're doing. They literally do not know. And that is what made my decision. I was like, nope, I'm done, goodbye. Have a great life. Um, you do your thing, I'm not gonna be associated with you anymore. That's how it ended.